dancer. We're moving now. We got things happening now. All right. How many of you would really love to find one more you? Anybody? <clears throat> Would like to find somebody else on your team that's willing to do what you're willing to do? Face their fears, grow their business, wouldn't that be great? Here's what I gotta tell you, most of the time, duplication, for my first three years in network marketing, I had almost zero duplication. I did everything. I did all the presentations, that I did all the getting started, I helped close all the people, I did all the calls, I did all the trainings, I got them up in the morning, I, I put them to bed at night, I made sure that they were showing up at the events, I did it all, all of it, so annoying. And I was constantly saying, when, when, is it not just gonna be all me? They keep telling me I'm gonna have duplication in this thing, what the heck? Anybody else share with that frustration? Anybody being honest? <laughs> duplication, see, in your job, when you go to work for somebody else, duplication's not a thing. You're not trying to duplicate yourself because that would threaten your job. You're not trying to duplicate anything. You're just trying to do your job and do it better hopefully leapfrog other people. But here, we're trying to teach people how to join and create results and become independent. Here's the journey of duplication. Ready? Write this into your notes. The journey is helping a person go from dependent to independent. From dependent on you, the team, the company, everything else, to independent. They're able to operate with or without you. Isn't that the dream? That's what the leverage part of what we do inside of network marketing, that we're provided with that opportunity and some of us just don't have the skills in order to be able to turn that opportunity into reality. So these next two presenters, they're both in the Million Dollar Hall of Fame. They've been around the network marketing profession for a long time and they've cracked the code when it comes to duplication. So they're gonna share some secrets with you that will help you enjoy more duplication than you've ever had before. Please welcome to the stage, Tony and Sarah Zalecki. and make some dinero. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so good to be with you guys today. And oh my gosh, what an incredible, oh my gosh, it's been like what, a day and a half already, mm -hmm. right? And um, guys, we are so excited to talk to you about helping you accelerate your success, right? Drop in the chat speed if you are ready to speed up your business. How many guys are ready to speed up your business today, right? Come on, Stacy. I know you are. Come on, Patricia. Come on, Venus. So, you know, it's, so I, as you guys know, like, obviously, we get a chance to work the business together every day, right? And 17 years ago, our business was quite different. Yep. And, you know, when we, I, I think about, you know, Air talks about duplication. For a long time, I was the girl that I was like, I just need to find one more me, right? I'm like, where is she hiding? Right, and for, for so long, I, we really struggled with it. And you know, when I first got involved in this profession, I was 21 years old. I was a kid, um, I was the nanny, I was a big dreamer. Anybody else a dreamer? Drop in the chat, dreamer of your dreamer. I was a huge dreamer, right? Huge, I'm talking huge, huge, huge. And um, you know, I, I found myself not really knowing what I wanted to do, right? I had these big dreams and I actually dreamed one day of of being on a stage like this and being able to impact just masses of people, right? 
And um, it's so crazy actually being here today. More importantly, it's so cool to be here with Tony together. And, you know, I was a nanny. I was someone that, you know, I loved working. I loved being with kids. But at the end of the day, like, I was living somebody else's life, right? I was driving somebody else's yep. car. I was living in somebody else's home. I was raising somebody else's kids. And so for us, like, especially for me, like, I, I want to do something bigger. And then in Walk Network Marketing, guess what <laughs> happened? My dream got even bigger than what it already was. Yep, and I was 19 years old. I was working on my mom's taco truck, and I found this awesome profession, and I got excited. And, you know, growing up, you know, I just had dreams. I wanted to do more. I wanted to have more. I wanted to just be more as a person. And I didn't know what that was going to look like or where I was going to go or what I was going to do. And then I found this profession, and I was like, wow, you can be anybody you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. I mean, how many felt that way before? Christine, have you felt that way before? And I'm like, I'm going to do this. And then I'm like, holy cow, is this hard? <laughs> I mean, how many got started and you're like, this is hard. Duplication. I can't even get somebody to sign up. I can, and then they get in and then all of a sudden they just disappear. Like, where do they go? They're just gone. And it's like you're starting all over again. And it got so frustrating but then I also looked at that challenge. I also looked at that obstacle. And I said, that's a big opportunity for me. I can get better and I can figure this out. And see, that's what most people do when they get into you know, this business is that there's so much. Have you noticed? There's a lot of moving parts here. And you, know, you think about duplication and most people, it's way too hard. It's too confusing. It's too complex. I mean, there's so much training. I know my friend Sylvia from Italy is watching right now. All the Italians. What's up, Italians? Love you guys. And she's like... <laughs> And that's not Tony's voice, by the way, guys. If you really heard, knew what his voice was like, you, you wouldn't want him singing. That, that right? is me, but she said, Tony, holy cow, is this like three, four hours of training? And I'm like, no, no way. Like, your training should be short. Your training should be really simple. It should be less than 30 minutes where people can come in and start making money. So your duplication, your system, we're going to talk about it. We're going to give you some nuggets. But here's what I will tell you, and Denise, you're going to love this, that it should be light and fun. It should be super clear on what you need to do. It should be simple. But here's the best thing. It should all be around getting your first customer, your first distributor, and everything needs to be around that. You build duplication around the basics, and we're going to teach that mm -hmm. today. Exactly. So one of the things that we actually learned from Eric is, he's, is he talks a lot about, hey, guys, you have to learn how to like, slow down so you can speed up. Right? A lot of times we just want to go into this and we want to speed and we want to do all this stuff and, and, and make all this stuff happen. But the reality, what happens is that we find ourselves kind of like spinning our wheels, doing a lot of things, but getting no productivity, right? Or getting that real duplication. And so we want to walk you guys through just a really simple process. So again, I, I think it's so important, you know, people will ask us kind of like, you know, of your secret sauce. And we just really learned how to make things simple because e even though like simple sounds simple, actually simple is kind of complex. It's hard to actually make it simple. And so everything that you do, whether if you're brand new, if you have an existing team, if you're a leader and you're growing your organization, you always need to make sure like, hey, am I teaching one plus one is two? Okay, too, too much time you know, too many times happens where people like are teaching geometry, they're teaching square root of pi, yeah. where I'm like, guys, like they're still learning, right? How many guys are parents? Drop in the chat, kids, if you guys have kids, okay? So think about when our kids, some of you guys have little kids or grown kids, some of you are grandparents, right? But think about like with our kids when they're little, right? And we're trying to teach them skills and we're trying to, maybe we want them to do something, right? How many of us have ever made the mistake where we gave them too many things to do, right? We're like, hey, you need to go, you need to go to the bathroom, you need to take a shower, you need to brush your teeth, you need to rest. And what happens? They don't do anything, right? It's too much. And that's what happens inside of network marketing is that a lot of times people have this huge list of, hey, these are all the things you need to do today to build your business. How many guys are feeling that right now, right? You have a list of like 95 things to do, 
Well, guess what? We don't want you to do 95 things. We want you to be able to get wins every day because that's really what creates your confidence in this business. That's right. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to kind of uh, go through really simply kind of like what we do in our business every single day. It's a very, very simple, well, we do three things, right? We do three things every day, and it's what we teach our team to do as well. Yep, so every day we make sure everybody's adding at least three friends on social media, whatever platform you're using, every single day. And let me tell you something right now. This is the best time to engage with people, to recruit people into your business, to partner with people, to start conversations. People are more open today than they ever been open. And they want to hear from you. They want to hear what you got. They want to get excited about something. They want to feel good about something. They want to engage with great people. I mean, and here is what I will tell you. This is something you can do in your first half hour of the day. This is something you can do in your first hour as you work your business, right? You also want to comment, Sarah, on three posts and stories, right, babe? Yeah, exactly. So again, obviously, you know, from yesterday, we learned a lot about social media, right? There's so much good stuff. But again, these are the things that we want people to be doing just every day as you're brand new. We know there's a lot of brand new people um, that are either just getting started, they've been around for a little bit. And so I think that this, this, what we call daily method of operation, right, DMO, is really, really important, guys, because I, I feel that sometimes what happens with people is that you have these big, like, audacious goals, which are awesome, and they're like, hey, I'm going to go add 20 friends today. But the reality is you, ne you don't even add one a day, right? So don't set yourself up to fail. Right? I would much rather have you do these three things every day for 365 days of the year than being hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold in your business. Right? It's, that's really, really hard to get traction, and it's really hard for your team to get traction as well. Right? So comment on three posts, comment on three stories, just kind of get the engagement going, right? reaching out, making um, you know, potential conversations. And then the last thing is ask, simply asking guys every day, three people if they're open. Three people if they're open to your product, three people if they're open to your service, three people if they're open to looking at another stream of income, right? Or you know, doing something on the side or a side gig, whatever you wanna call it, right? But every day, it's what we call doing the ask, right? Are you doing the ask every single day? So these three things, right, is what we do, the three, three, three. So we want to talk to you guys about something that's very, very simple in our business, okay? And again, 99.9% .9 of us, we are all what? Online. We are building a business online. So again, remembering, you know, keeping it simple when it comes to the duplication is so crucial. And so we focus on these three things every day, and, we and people are doing it like crazy. So number one, they're posting. Number two, they're sending information. And number three, they're validating. That is it, okay? So if you remember those three things, right? Post, send, validate. So what does that actually look like? Do you wanna start this Well, one? here's what I'll tell you. So when, when we talk about engagement and curiosity, I mean, I've never seen these two things work so well at this point on social today as we speak. I mean, we just finished 25 years in the business having the biggest month in our whole career in the month of November. And using, I know a lot of our team. This. Yeah, and I using know a lot this. of our team is on here and they're, yes, yeah. yes, you guys Hi, are everybody. awesome. What's up? But here's the thing, using this, I mean, and the reason this works so good is because when people are brand new, engagement and curiosity gives them a, a step up, right? It gets them traction, it gets them results, it gets them a story, it gets them with some wins, and it gets them where they feel good about the business, so they want to keep going. Yep, so especially like on social media, a lot of us, you know, I know for myself, like I prior, I never used social media as a business. I mean, I used it just like to say happy birthday to my cousin, right? Or check up on someone that just had a baby or what have you. And so now all of a sudden we're building it, right? And using social media as a business. So one of the things that are important is that using something that we call an engagement post to really just get more eyeballs, guys, on our page, right? The more eyeballs that are watching, the more conversations that you can start. And engagement posts are really cool because a lot of times what happens, especially if we're brand new, there's a lot of people that come out of the woodwork that will comment on that post. There's a lot of people that all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, Joey just commented 
I haven't talked to Joey in 10 years. Like, I forgot about him. Or what about Susie, right? So I want to give you guys a couple of examples of engagement posts, but this is what I want to share with you. There are so many engagement posts that you can do. You could Google engagement posts, and they're there. And there, there's so many things. And so what an engagement post is, is very simple. Okay, here's a couple of, uh, of ideas that we use. But again, guys, engagement posts basically just give people a reason to give their opinion, right? How many of us agree? Drop me a one if we know that everyone loves to give an opinion whether we want to hear it or not, right? People want to give an opinion, right? They're giving opinions all the time. So engagement posts, what's crazy is that you're kind of giving them like, hey, do you like this or do you like this? And they always comment on something. And so it's so, so simple on these engagement posts because the people that like it, the people that love it, the people that comment, that's basically kind of a, like a, a cue for you then to be able to jump into Messenger and just start a conversation. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. It's great to connect, right? What are you up to nowadays? What's new in your world, right? Making that conversation start. Mm -hmm. Right, and so it's it's a kind of a, a what I call a great place to create just great leads to start conversations. That's right. right. So here's the assignment we want to give you. So when the next break happens, when you get five minutes, we want you to take an engagement post and we want to put have you put it on Facebook, right? And we want to have it on your wall. And we want to see that thing start to go. So everybody, write that down. You will do an engagement post at the next break. Yep, exactly. So so very very simple how it works. So. Curiosity posts, okay? So curiosity posts are awesome, guys, for, well, especially for those of you that are brand new. Like curiosity posts are great. Like I know for myself, it took me a while to learn the sales skills of this business. It took me a while to really understand how to, you know, do a good job with inviting and selling my product. And so curiosity posts, what it does for you is it kind of like, it, it just kind of gives you a, it makes you feel safe where you're like, man, I can simply do a post where people will sit up, pay attention, ask what is that, how do I get it, right? What are you doing? Again, just creating that curiosity, right? And there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. I know we've got service companies on here, makeup companies, product companies, skincare company, like there are <laughs> so many out there. And so learn how to have fun talking about your product right? And so there's a lot of different things that you can do. And, and one of the things that we like to do that we encourage you guys to do is that you don't have to necessarily talk about the actual, your product, right? You can actually have fun with it and get creative, right? I've seen people that are promoting a, a, a juice company, right? And they talk about their hustle juice. They talk about their mom juice, right? I know people that have like, they sell collagen and they, they talk about like li liquid lipo and they, you know what I mean? I know weight loss companies that have all these different things, right? So don't be afraid to have fun, right? Social media is what? Social, don't forget that. <laughs> we tend to forget it, right? It is social, it's not serious media, right? Too many of you guys, it's serious. No, it is social, it is meant to be fun, right? So curiosity is such a great, great way for you to get, again, more eyeballs on your page to be able to start conversations. So put a one in the chat right now. Let us know if you've ever done an engagement post or a curiosity post. Put a, put a one in the chat if you have. Yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome. Okay. Woo. So again, so with the post, it's engagement post or curiosity post, right? Second thing that you want to do and you teach people to do, guys, is send information. Very simple. Every single one of us are part of a company that has incredible third-party tools, right? Whether it be an app, whether it be links, whether it be Facebook groups, whether it be Instagram pages, right? We all have incredible tools that allow us to build a business yep. very simply, right? Where you don't have to be the expert, you don't have to know all the information, right? It's just after someone engages with you through those posts, you're simply going to send them the information, right? Very, very simple. And your whole goal is just let them see the information. Yep. Your goal is to get as much information, you know, as far as one thing, two things, whatever you're sending them, in front of them as fast as possible because you want them engaged. You want them looking at it. You want to be answering questions. You want to be moving them to the next step, right? I just see so many people, and I did this for years, where I would just not get anybody the information. I was too scared. I was 
afraid of what they would think or what they would say or if they would, you know, comment back, if they'd ghost me or if they'd be mad, if they'd be, I, I didn't know. And here is the thing. It really doesn't matter. Like your whole goal is let them see it. Get it in front of them. Let them look at it, right? And I'll tell you what will happen. They will get excited. They will want more information. They will buy something. They will join. They will talk about it. I mean, the biggest thing you can do right now is get good at the ask, get good at giving them the information and taking them to the next step. Yep. And then the last thing is validate, right? Yep. Yay! The last one is validate, right? So validate's awesome, guys. This gives you a chance to get out of the way. Some of you guys need to get out of your own way. I'm just telling you, the reason I can say that is that was me for a long time. I didn't get out of my own way. I made it way harder than it needed to be. I felt like I needed to be the girl that could answer all the questions and, and, and know all the answers. Like it made me feel good when the reality was like it was completely hurting my duplication. Right? It was completely hurting. And so three-way chats, guys, are so important. And the reason that three-way chats are so important is that it allows you to get out of the way and it allows your expert, right, whether it be your sponsor or your upline mm -hmm. or maybe even crossline, it lets them do the heavy lifting for you. Some of you guys are like carrying around all this stuff and I'm like, let us help you, right? So posting, sending, and then a three-way chat. Now, three-way chat is so simple, guys. I mean, literally, if you're on social media, Instagram or on Facebook, all you're going to do is you're going to put your, your expert, right, and your prospect into a chat, and you're basically just going to say, hey, listen, I'm new. I'm learning. I want to make sure that you get all the right information, right? I want you to get all the facts of the business, and I want to introduce you to who I'm working with, right, and then edify that person a little bit and then get out of the way, and then your expert can answer all those questions. So I think that you know the three-way chat is so big. I feel like that is a big piece that a lot of times is missing in people's business, is they don't have someone that can validate the opportunity or that can validate the product or service. And so yep. the more that you can start utilizing the three-way chats, I'm telling you, oh my gosh, it is such gold when it comes to duplication, right? Yep. So post, send, validate, right? Wash and repeat, that is all that you need to be doing every single day. And then what happens is they start getting the popcorn effect. Exactly. Does anybody like popcorn? I love popcorn. Drop in the word. Peggy, do you like popcorn? popcorn. Hope, do you like popcorn? popcorn. Emily, <laughs> are you a popcorn girl? <laughs> I love popcorn. So, um, so here's the thing, guys. The popcorn effect is amazing for your business because this is what I think is so crucial. And, and, I, and what I think is kind of cool is actually Eric kind of touched on this yesterday. And so it just kind of like confirmed what we're talking about right now. Um, but, you know, it's what's so important, guys, is that the sooner that you can get wins in your business, the sooner that someone can get their first sale, right, their first new distributor, they, what happens is they start getting more courage in their business, right? I think a lot of times people think, oh my gosh, I just walk in and I have this amazing confidence. No, the way that you get confidence in your business is all these little things that you do that you need to be courageous about that string in this, all these huge wins, right? And so understand that the more that you're, you know, you're following the duplication and having your team doing the very simple things, again, one plus one is two, one plus one is two every day, they're going to have these wins. Now, here's what's cool, guys. When they have these wins, what do they have? They have a story, right? They now have a story and stories what? How many of you guys agree today and yesterday you heard a lot of stories? What did the stories do for you? They inspired you right? They made you take action. They made you, right? They made you make some decisions. That's what happens in our business yep. is that you have these stories now that are created, which creates a buzz, which guess what happens when people have a buzz and the excitement, you're talking to more people, right? And we know that this business is what Eric's talked about it a lot. It's, it's all about the numbers. It's all about the conversations. It's a people that have the most conversations win, right? So from there, they're inviting more, they're talking to more people, which means more people are gonna join, more people are gonna buy, which then guess what? Goes into wins. And it creates this amazing popcorn effect in your business where you all of a sudden have all these people that start hitting all these different ranks in your business because of the duplication. 
because of the very simple like daily method of operation that they're doing, right? And for us, it's the post, send, and validate every single day. So you're creating this popcorn effect, right? Pop, 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 pop of all these mm -hmm. ranks. And, and that's what is so beautiful to see that for a very, very long yeah. time, we didn't have, right? And, and 